Hi everyone and welcome to Drum Believable's Ireland Online Sharing. Uh, this morning I just want to share with you uh, some of the aspects and some of the ethos of what it means to be a drum believer. Um, drum Believable's has its own ethos, indeed it has its own uh, sounds, it has its own uh, rhythms and our own compilations, some of which you're listening to now um, are compilations of uh, some of the stuff that we do at our community gatherings. So without further delay, I'm just going to share with you some of the aspects that we have at uh, Drum Believables that make up a Drum Believer. And we're going to start with the word rhythm. Now, the word rhythm stems from the Greek word rheem, R-H-E-I-N. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that, but it, it, the meaning is uh, to flow or to stream. Now rhythm's essence then flows in time. In music, rhythm is about when notes, chords and other musical sounds begin and end and how long they are played, implied, at what tempo, what timbre and feel that they're played at. Rhythm is an essential ingredient in all music. You can mix together any sound you want, but if there's no underlying rhythm to the sound, there is no music. And we also believe in the implied rhythm, rhythm that is present in music silently and not played out. We believe in gaps, breaks and silence during parts of a musical piece. And we believe that is integral to the timbre feel and the creative expression. Humanity through antiquity has a deep connection to rhythm. Rhythm is everywhere, not just in music, uh, walking, in speech, ocean waves, the four seasons, the lunar and the solar cycles, uh, indeed even extends beyond the, calypse, uh, the, the, um, the constellation and the seasons. All things we do and experience have rhythm. In fact, your first experience was the rhythm of your mother's heartbeat. The very first thing that you ever heard or experienced was the heartbeat of your mother when you were in the womb. Now, another aspect of drumming is what we call timing. And a, a, a drum believer believes that timing and feel are critical. They, you cannot separate them. In the same way it, it, it is a, in the same way that it is applied to cooking raw chicken to make it safe, enjoyable and presentable, the, the, the same applies to recreational community drumming. We need the meat, which is the groove. We need the veg, which is the rudiments. We need the gravy, which is symbolized, I suppose, in the personalities and the passions expressed by our people. We need the seasoning. Now, seasoning is subjective to people's individual tastes. It's based on individuality. Some people like salt and vinegar on their chips. Other people put Tabasco on it. Other people put chili on it. Whatever it is, the seasoning is the drum believer. The person who brings the most to the gatherings. It's not the rhythm, it's not the rudiments. In fact, it is the flavor and the personality. People love different dressings on their meals. We love all the offerings that people bring and their expressions and their creativity to the drum believers gatherings. Drum believers are the seasoning, their individuality, their expression, however big, however small, however young, however old, your participation is wanted, it's valued. Indeed, timing and feel, which are the ingredients, are a variation in the recipe. And it's what makes an excellent meal. And the same is said for what makes an excellent recreational community gathering ensemble. Now, I want to talk a little bit more and expand on rhythm. Rhythm is crucial. Practice your rhythm and your skills daily. And I'm extending to you now an invitation to come to our online gathering this Tuesday evening at half past eight. This coming Tuesday evening, half past eight, we will do an online drum uh, uh, ensemble for you with some of our people who live in our household. Because rhythm is crucial. Practice your rhythm and your skills daily. And this tutorial will help you do so. At Drum Believables, we teach repetition is the mother of all skills. 
We practice repetition until it becomes a condition and then it becomes automatic. We all want all our drum believers to enjoy and feel a sense of achievement at every gathering. We believe that repetition will bring that about as players relax in a groove that their body is accustomed to. Muscle memory is activated and discovered through repetition and then the fun starts when, when the rhythm is automatic and fluid and spontaneous. That's when the joy overtakes and that's when drumming and rhythm becomes therapeutic. We mix rhythm practice together with all our other practicing. Whether you play scales, rudiments, apregios, or, or arpeggios, whatever way you want to pronounce it, or other various techniques, remember rhythm is one of our biggest responsibilities, whatever instrument you play. You can't play a guitar or a cello or a flute without rhythm. Harp, flute, violin, Drum Believable's recreational community gatherings will enhance your knowledge and experience in not just the world rhythms that we use, but also uh, it help you develop the rhythm and that you will apply to your instrument that you play at home, whether it's piano or trombone. Um, because without rhythm, every instrument playing will be so not negotiable in music is, is rhythm. That's why Drum Believable's helps and supports every drum believer, even if their passion is piano or tin whistle. The rhythm and grooves and lessons taught at Drum Believable. Why did that disconnect? It disconnected. Aha. So anyway, so we believe that drumming is a language and I'm sure we're back online, whatever happened there. We believe that drumming is a language. Every culture, every tribe, every nation has its own individual rhythm and expression. And we do our best in Drum Believables to bring all that about. But Drum Believables believes that it all stems from the pulse, from the heartbeat of humanity, the heartbeat of rhythm, as we believe it's our responsibility to explore, experience and share and spread this positive heartbeat. To understand it, its origins, not just how to play it, its origins, where it come from, its applications in culture, how it was used, not just to play them world rhythms, but to understand their origins and their applications. Drumming is a language and we play it as we want to say it. And we believe that this is open to everyone and everyone has a voice. The blind can see it, the deaf can feel it, the lame can walk in it and the mentally ill can have their mind renewed through it. It's powerful, it's a documented scientific fact that drumming communities and gatherings develop and give people the, the mental capacity to fight off mental illness and reset them and put a positive rhythm in their, in their, in their emotional framework. So it's powerful force and Drum Believables will take you on that journey and share where we have been and impart what we've learned through my 30 years of community drumming and bring you into a deeper experience and deeper understanding and we will share with you and partake with you in the world's oldest language which is drumming. Now we have various different techniques and we have various different uh, um, I suppose expressions such, such as staccato, legato, um, you, you know, if, if you think about uh, Mozambique, Bolero, Bossa Nova, um, Cascara, Cha Cha Cha, all of these Latin, um, Cuban, Afro Caribbean rhythms, the Wawanko, the Akwara, the, the Tora, the Toro, uh, all of these um, hand rhythms, you know, um, vary and differ greatly from if you're playing them on a drum kit because a drum kit is a four by four instrument. You have four limbs operating a drum kit. Whereas a hand drum, you have two hands and that two hands makes you a two wheel drive player. So the, the rhythms that you learn at Drum Believables and the rhythms that you, you learn are the original, the original uh, authentic rhythms that you would have learned 200, 300 years ago before the drum kit was even, even 100 years ago, before the drum kit was even really invented. And we would encourage you to come online with us, to go back and look at some of our teachings 
um, online to get engaged, to like, share and to subscribe um, to Drum Believables to support us and help us out as a community to stay alive during this COVID crisis. And just to remember that the Drum Believables techniques, there are many techniques. Legato is water for example, water flows and never stops moving. Legato passages in music and it flows from one note to the other. Staccato is represented by fire. If you have a hot kettle, for example, and you put your hand on it, like so, immediately you're going to take your hand off. If you were to treat a drum head like that, bang, and take your hand off, you would generate what's known as an open tone. If you, and that would be called a staccato in the application sense of that word. Now, if you were to look at the legato, which is water and it's, it's a flow, you can suppress a, a kettle, you can touch a kettle or a saucepan with your hand and hold your hand there. You can dampen the note and muffle and baffle the note. Yes, that's called legato. That's called a closed tone if you apply that to a drum head. We've so much we want to share with you. I've over 30 years drums experience uh, in world rhythms and ethnomusicology. Um, one of my uh, my things, you know, we, we, we have djembes, we have darbukas, we have dumbeks, we have doleks, cascaras, we have uh, bendirs, barons, and, 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 and um, can't remember the name of them all. There's so many different instruments that we want to do in our gatherings and that we do do and that people enjoy and like and love. And we want to share the experience with you guys. Come online on Tuesday night at half past eight and experience a drum ensemble. There will be five people from my household who are adept drummers and we are we're going to play to you you guys will be encouraged to play along. You guys will be encouraged to get as much uh, instruments and creativity going in your house. Whether it's a bag of lentils shoved inside a Pringle box, taped up and turned into a shaker. Whether it's a spatula, rubber spatula on the back of a saucepan. Whether it's a, a big um, basketball and you, or a tennis ball and you bounce it on the floor and, and it makes a sound off a wooden floor. Whatever you can do to make a... Um, you know, even bottle tops inside a galvanized bucket and you get a big wooden spoon and you stir them around, you make this legato, this water flowing sound. We want to take you to a new level with Unbelievables on the, in, on the online world. And we're gonna do it free of charge and we're going to do it um, to just invite you to come, like, share, subscribe. Um, and partake and enjoy with us. Drum Believables is currently um, requiring support and help from its, its members. If you'd like to donate, you can visit www.drumbelievables.ie and if you'd make a donation to us, that would be fantastic, It'd be brilliant, uh, because the, the bills of the business keep coming in and we can't get to where we want to get to without you. Some of the samples that you've heard in the backing track of this, a uh, little short presentation um, are uh, going into our a um, our, our online uh, our, our CD. We have a 15 track CD. We want to get achieved, and we want to get that presented, and we want to get it out there into the communities. And your support will be greatly appreciated with that. Thank you very much, folks. Just remember two things. A drum believer, we practice repetition until it becomes a condition and then it becomes automatic. And remember, we say things as we want to say them and because drumming is a language, it's very simple. Drum believables, if you can say it, you can play it. I'm Drummer Noli, thank you for joining in. Do um, put some comments in the, in, the, in the box and it'll be great to hear from you. Thank you very much, God bless, take care.